Numero uno is the phase dodge. Huntress has a bunch of skills that can be used to dodge incoming enemy attacks, particularly the two utility skills, Blink and Phase Blink. But you can also use the initial animation of both Arrow Rain and Ballista, which launches you upwards to dodge incoming attacks as well. One thing to note is that the phase utility skill, you can teleport in any direction. However, for the phase blink alternate, you can only move horizontally and can no longer go up and down. However, for this utility skill, you have three charges instead of one for the regular phase. And both of these, the distance of the actual phase is determined by your movement speed. So the more goat hooves and mocha jokas you got, the farther you will go. Numero dos, the fall cancel. Building on top of tip number one, all four of the aforementioned skills, blink, phase blink, ballista, and arrow rain can be used to cancel downward momentum as well. What this means is if you are falling from a height that would typically deal a lot of fall damage, you can use one of these skills right before you hit the ground to cancel the momentum and avoid taking any fall damage. The key thing is to just get used to using these fall cancel skills as much as possible in order to make navigating around the map easier and quicker without taking fall damage so that you can loot up as quick as possible since the clock is always running and also for those situations where an enemy launches you off an edge or to the moon. Numero Trace, the Burbank Skymore. For this technique, basically what you want to do is combine the upwards animation of either arrow rain or ballista with the dash of phase or phase blink. Since both arrow rain and ballista launch Huntress up into the air where she pauses for a second, you can then chain this together with either phase or phase blink to reach previously unaccessible areas quickly. This technique is definitely a bit more versatile with the regular phase where you can teleport in any direction, including up and down afterwards, but it still works pretty decently to get to high up places with phase blink and just triple spamming the button so you travel as far as you horizontally can. Numero Quattro, welcome to band camp. The bands are undoubtedly some of the best green items in the game, and they are particularly busted when combined with Huntress's Ballista special skill. Although they can also be procced by utilizing the Laser Glaive, it does need to ricochet off of at least four enemies before it will activate, and utilizing Ballista just does way more damage first off, and second off is a guaranteed proc. Ballista is significantly better than Arrow Rain in nearly all situations, so if you do not already have this alternate special skill unlocked, I would make it a priority, Baranto. Coming in hot at numero cinco is the Baby Got Backup. This is less of a technique and more of an item pairing, but Huntress benefits greatly from the backup mag, which gives an extra charge per stack for the secondary skill, which is her laser glaive Captain America shield throw, which bounces off up to six enemies and increases damage for every single enemy it bounces off of. By having more charges of this, you can just spam it into crowds and the damage gets absolutely nutty. Pairing the backup mag with a bandolier makes it even better as some of those enemies in the crowds that you absolutely demolish will drop little refill ammo packs which immediately give you another charge of the shield to toss out there again. And now for the rapid fire bonus round. These are items that work really well and synergize with Huntress's skills and gameplay styles. So keep your eyes out for the following white items. The gasoline, which synergizes really well with the laser glaive and its ricochet. The soldier syringe to just speed up her default 
primary attack, and of course the backup mag as previously mentioned. For green items, the Will of the Wisp works really well with the Laser Glaive. The Rose Buckler is a surprisingly good pickup on Huntress due to the fact that her passive ability allows her to sprint and shoot at the same time, which is unique to her out of all the survivors. This pairs up perfectly with the Rose Buckler ability, which grants you additional defense when sprinting and makes up for one of Huntress's main issues the fact that she's a bit of a glass cannon and does not have much defense or health. As mentioned before, the bands are an absolutely huge pickup for Huntress if she's rocking Ballista and can dish out serious damage. And as far as void items go, the void scent flame is really strong, but really look out for a Lysight cell, especially when using Ballista, since the Lysate cell gives you an extra charge of that special. And since Ballista is Huntress's most damaging move, if you pair this up with the bands, it's game over. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Let me know any of your Huntress tips down below. Thanks for tuning on in, and we'll catch you next time. Adios, amigos.